Hi. I'm going to be live later on today at 8.30. That's just the way in which my day's got to work today. Um, and if you've got any questions, then ask me them now in the comments to this video um, and I'll get to them as well later on. Later on, I've got some lists of things just to memorize, ready for paper two tomorrow. Um, but there's some things, there's some tips on what you should be doing today to prepare the best for this paper tomorrow. So I would always advise the day before an exam not to get too stressed, um, not to work too hard, not to work in ways that are kind of like too mentally taxing. But I do recommend that you review some past papers and some past questions, but probably ones you've already done. And you just take the time and you just think about the way in which the questions were solved. So you just prepare yourself by thinking, oh, if they ask that type of question, here's what I do. I do this, I do this, I do this. You know, the methods through those questions is a good way to think about. Um, I do have some other little tips as well. I would suggest taking your equation sheet, and mine's on the wall behind us there, and hopefully you've been annotating it. Hopefully you've, used it, you're, you've been using it. And just thinking, all right, when am I going to need to apply that question? When am I going to need to apply that equation? Sorry, what type of question are they going to ask me that's going to mean that I have to use that equation? And make sure you know exactly basically what each equation is used for. Go through things like common derivations again, you know, and all those kind of um, things that just you have to use that equation sheet for so that you feel like you know that equation sheet as like a tool for you in the exam. And remember that you are expected to, to use all of the previous module equ equations as well. So it's not just the equations from the current modules. Um, some other things um, just to say, really, I looked at over paper one and yeah, that was pretty tricky. And I've just seen a pretty funny uh, meme about the um, flower question, okay, you know, they, they are going to chuck at you things like that. But I did think in that question, there were plenty of opportunities for you to score marks. So take your time, think to yourself, oh, actually, what information have they given me? What can I do with that information? And make sure you get at least some of the marks. You don't need to get all of the marks to, to get a really good grade. You know, you can actually afford to lose two or three marks. So if it's a really wiggy question, if it's a really ridiculous question, uh, but it's worth two marks, well, don't let it fluster you. Just think to yourself, OK, I'm, I might drop those two marks. I'm not going to spend a lot of time thinking about that right now. I'm going to put down a relevant equation and put some numbers in maybe. But I might not get the marks there. Um, but I'm not going to spend five minutes on two marks and give myself less time to get the easier marks. So do think about the, que the question paper in that way. You just got to calm yourself down. You just got to stop yourself getting flustered. And you got to think, you know, take that 10 seconds to kind of uh, momentarily just calm yourself down and then get back into it, come back to that question at the end. Um, some other tips, um, as I say, look over your equation sheet again of thinking exactly how you're going to use that. I want you today to review many mark schemes. So a quick look at the chat there. Somebody said, I'm planning on doing six question papers. Well, um, that is that is fun times. OK, that's massive. Maybe you don't need to do all of those six question papers like in full. Maybe actually you just need to find the types of questions you know you struggle on. And maybe you need to look over those six mark schemes in full. Because maybe, you know, actually, <laughs> these papers are meant to take two and a half hours. So do you really have, uh, what's that, 18 hours um, available to you today? Like, uh, no, sorry, it's not two and a half, it's like one, one and a quarter hours, one and three quarter hours, isn't it? So you really have almost 12 hours of study today? Well, all right, good luck to you. But uh, I think really maybe just focusing on the hardest questions and focusing on, uh, if you know how to do a question, you think, oh, that's just F equals MA, and you can look at the mark scheme and confirm that. That's OK, because you can do that. All right, so do, so do take um, take your time over that. Don't overstress it. I do, I do, <laughs> I stress that. Don't overstress today, OK? There's no point in having a stressful day of, of work. Um, also, um, find typical questions. Find questions that come up a lot, you know, that you can go over and you, you know the answers for. So you do that by reviewing the mark scheme. So if you look through loads of past paper mark schemes for your board and you find explain answers that come up time and time again, types of questions that come up time and time again, make sure you memorize those explain answers because they probably will come up. And that's one of the things I've got for you later on is some kind of common answers that seem to come up time after time. Um, so that's at 8.30. Ask any questions in the full comments of this video if you want me to have a little go at them later on in the live feed. Um, I'll have the visualizer ready and I'll go for any bits that I can. Remember this as well. This is a really important thing. Um, the last question, if it's an explain question, at the end of a calculation question. So let's say it's question 14, and it's been calculating um, all about uh, gravitational fields being inversely proportional to 
r squared, you know, uh, force being inversely proportional to r squared. Um, the last explain question is probably about that idea of being inversely proportional to r squared as well. So make sure that you use the, you know, the, the last explain, explain question will be related to the stuff you've done in the previous parts of the question. All right, so have a good day today. Don't overstress it, as I said. Um, just probably look at some quite gentle revision using your equation sheet, using mark schemes, using kind of common questions that you know you struggle with. I strongly recommend that you, you find papers that you have done already and have marked and been corrected that you can look through and you can just think to yourself, oh, if I get that type of question, the way to solve it is bang, 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 right? It's this, that and the other. So stuff like that, Gabrielle, I'm going to drop the feed right now. And if you just put that in the main comments, like later on when I'm preparing for the live feed at half past eight today, then I'll look for any bits and bobs like that. OK. All right. Um, I do also have a good video about gravitational fields that you might want to dig out as well, where I talk about those three equations and how they're linked. But definitely understanding gravitational fields, I would say, is about understanding the equations for gravitational field strength, the equation for force and the equation for gravitational.